happening in the first degree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On or about the, well, really the 8th day of July? Yes. On or about the 31st day of July of 2015? Mm-hmm. In the county of Washington State, yeah, or in the county of, uh, of Clallam, yeah, state of Washington, the above-named defendant, Mike Van Proyen, yes, did intentionally abduct uh, another person to wit named Marilyn Van Proyen and her six kids, yes, with the intent to hold her uh, for ransom or reward, mm -hmm, or as a shield or hostage, yes, and to facilitate the commission of any felony or flight hereafter, yes, and or to inflict bodily injury on her mm -hmm. and to inflict extreme mental distress on her yes or third party no, or third person known as legina yeah so as to interfere with the performance of any governmental fun function yeah first degree kidnapping mike van proyen <laughs> now let's think about this yes i email law enforcement for the last Two years, July 31st of 2015. Yes. I emailed you November 15th of 2015 that the petitioner didn't sign the protection order. Right. My right to due process is being violated and you issued it for 10 years when you can only issue it for one year if you have children in common, minors, children in common. <laughs> on July 31st of 2015, on the same day that you issued the protection order. Yes. Uh, there appeared a picture in the Rotary newsletter of my sister, Susan Bowers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So for approximately three years and ten months, yes, you've been allowing Mike Van Proyen to kidnap his wife because you refuse to enforce her rights as a citizen of the United States. <laughs> now, since I know the identity of Susan Bowers, yes, and I know the hate crime of making his own wife look like a piece of shit, <laughs> there's a good probability that Marilyn has been held hostage this whole time. Squim. <laughs> Why would you not enforce the married woman's legal rights the same mm -hmm. as the married man's legal rights, Mike Van Proyen? Now, you have an obligation to allow me to speak to her, mm -hmm. and I have the right to ask her, yes, would you like to live with me? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not wanting to participate in the cult of the way. Yes, I don't want to screw every man in the congregation. I want volunteers, yes, that give their informed consent of wanting to have sexual relationships with me. Oh. Now, it could mean that Marilyn is the same way, yes. If she was to have any sort of intimacy with another woman, yes, it would only be because of informed consent. Oh, now what if you, yes, arrested those in your cult right now? Mm -hmm and enforce the legal rights of both men and women. Poop. Because I would say that it is now hostage holding. Mm -hmm. Now you would have thought that as a police department, not only have you kidnapped my sons and holding them hostage, neglecting them because of them being in the wrong grades, yes, so as to misprision all your felony and treason, mm -hmm. you are now holding Marilyn Van Proyen hostage. Mm -hmm. Now it could be, pooch, that it might be a multi-billion dollar day. <laughs> Now, how do we get it up above a hundred billion custodial inferiors? Yes. What kind of interference could you have as a non-parent relative, parent court? What kind of interference is there? Yes. In the custody of an adopted daughter from Haiti. Yes. When you use an image of another person. Yeah. So as to commit the hate crime of making his own wife look like shit. Mm -hmm. Now, custodial inference, second degrees, uh, non-parent relative, second or subsequent parent non-compliance with court order. Yeah. Now, there's there's quite a few other laws here. The president's third person agreement alleged the information in you know, State versus Miller. Mm -hmm. Now, when a conspiracy is charged, the language for the substantive crime must be altered as followed <laughs> uh, for non warrant rules offenses. Pooh. On or about the 31st day of July of 2015, in Clown County, State of Washington, the above named defendant right now, mm -hmm, with intent to conduct constituting the crime of hostage holding, exploitation of children, yes, and uh, custodial interference, mm -hmm, did put a picture. <laughs> 
did agree with one or more persons in the police department to engage in or cause the performance of those crimes if so as to deprive Marilyn of her rights as a woman. <clears throat> now there's conspiracy, yeah. kidnapping, mm -hmm. governmental interference, yes. Exploitation of children, right. Mm -hmm. Child abuse and neglect, that's correct. Mm. And then there's the obstruction of me and Marilyn filing a lawsuit together, yes. Or I sue this county, mm -hmm. this state, yes. And every state of your life, 